Oh, you're still twitching. You're still twitching. Oh, there you go. What do you want me to do? Kill him again? War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. <laughs> I love the splash sound. Let's see, are you a boy or a girl? It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Schubert here once again with an episode of Top 10 Tuesday. Finally getting around to recording another one of these and putting it out. This is where I take you through a list of my most played games so that if anybody wants to know what I enjoy or why I enjoy certain games... Uh, this is where to go to find some of that information, along with Throwback Thursday. Today on my top 10 games list, these are games that have their time played recorded by Steam or Origin, as that's those are the only two services that I have that do record gameplay. Hours, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Today we land in Fallout 3 at 159 total hours, although I'm pretty sure I have a bit more than just that. 
Let's go ahead and create our character. I'll try to make the dude look, I don't know, as plastic-faced as I could ever look. Sure, why not? But we're going to go ahead and customize him anyways. No, we're not going to do all that because you're not going to see my face most of the time anyways. We'll just make it... Just make him nice and pale or something. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Sure, we'll have blue eyes. Um... Switch up his hair. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? A... Catherine? James. Catherine! She's in cardiac James. arrest. Start compression. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. Don't you one we need a doctor, not a dead man. This was on the house. Fail to meet my expectations no. and there will be Don't troubles. look straight into the light now. James and his cheery chatter. Hey, your future is just right. something you get used to feel. Just like home. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Alright, so Fallout 3 released way back in 2008. Essentially, it was my first experience with anything Bethesda. I'm pretty sure, anyways. Played. I don't think I played a Bethesda game before Fallout 3. I'd have to look up some of their games, I guess. And after that, I did kind of really enjoy this role-playing adventure between this and Skyrim and all this kind of stuff. It's the first one that took a step into this first or third-person view and really moved away from the isometric turn-based game that it was in Fallout and Fallout 2. Gives you this nice little set of abilities you can look at and figure out what you want to do. There's a few things I usually boost right away. Take luck down, that doesn't matter too much. Not to me anyways. like to make sure I'm nice and strong so I can carry everything, not get overburdened by the weight of whatever I'm carrying. Sure. How about that? Not going with any kind of specific build or anything like that. Just going straight with whatever I feel like doing. So I like to keep my charisma fairly high, at least like to have a little bit of a chance to persuade people. And I like to keep my intelligence high so I can do all sorts of different things. He's going to come back in and see that we're not in our cage anymore. wonder if I can actually close it. Oh, hey, look at that. Learn something new every day. I swear, Dad, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything. <laughs> You are quite the little explorer, aren't you? No, I'm right here. For trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Yay, the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I love the Bible. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. 
All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Why did mom have to die? Dad? Mama. These experiments Don't be a damn fool. The experiment to prepare. You prepare. Surprise! 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 Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you're. Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well. You're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Yay, work. Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. The awkwardness of Fallout 3 is that everything just pauses when you get into these dialogue or these conversations. So sometimes you'll have this issue where you might pause, or it might pause you, I should say, and you have somebody else on the screen in front of you looking weird and then you get these nice choices to respond now the difference between fallout 3 and fallout 4 is that some of these choices and some of your actions within fallout 3 have a lot more impact on your karma basically in fallout 4 there really isn't much of a karma system i mean you can be a nice person or you can be a dick but it doesn't really change the end game what changes the end game is what you decide to do as far as which faction you join. In this game, you can gain or lose karma based on what you say to people. Great party, Amada. Thanks for doing this for me. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Um, a date with Christine Kendall? Gross! I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> I think I made her jealous. Oh man, you have a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Happy birthday, Sonny. I do have... I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. In a nice I'm still going to date your daughter. She doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Oh, you didn't have to bring me a present, Mrs. Palmer. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Happy birthday, <laughs> Sweet. I'm not going to share. Ooh, he's going to cut the cake. Wait. Better get myself a party hat.
Are you uh -oh. having a nice time? Oh no. Oh wait, I got my pit boy. Hey. Okay, so here's what your pit boy looks like in Fallout 3. You have your status where you can look at your condition, your radiation, and any effects you might have. You can look at your special attributes that we selected in the beginning. You can take a look at any skills you gain when you upgrade any sorts of perks that you have, and anything general as far as your statistics. It's a bit of a different layout compared to Fallout 4. Uh, one of the things that is interesting for me is that in Fallout 3 you have to actually consume the magazine in order to get its abilities. In Fallout 3 you also have your quest data is over here and any notes you pick up is over here under data. What bothers me in 4 is that it's under miscellaneous in the items. So if I pick up a holotape or a note or something like that in this game it goes under data, notes. If you pick it up in Fallout 4, it's under miscellaneous. It's like, just, why? Why switch that? Why'd you do that? <laughs> it's not that big of an issue, but it's kind of something that if you get used to playing this game for a couple hundred hours, almost, then it can be kind of difficult to switch. Change is hard, okay? I am about now I got just my party hat on. It's my birthday. I do what I want. Besides, I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. <laughs> I love the the way it catches you. It's like, oh yeah, you're close enough. It doesn't matter that you're pretty much behind the character, and he wouldn't be talking to you this way. We'll just stop the scene right here and make him turn his head awkwardly, and you're kind of looking over his shoulder. <laughs> okay, let's respond. Let's figure out what I... Mm. Go soak your head, Butch. I'm not giving you my sweet roll. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. That friend of yours can be use sorry, a reminder you. that life is not all fun and games. How do you like that, huh? Ugh, this is supposed to be a party. Butch, what do you, you know? think you're doing? Huh? Leave him alone. You should try you it sometime, nice Daddy. Time. You might like it. You all right? What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. He's lucky Gomez stopped the fight before I really heard him. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Son. Thanks for having faith in friend. me, you jerk. <laughs> Do you think we surprised him? Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. I'm sure what, are that you two best friends never now? never suspected hey, being no. a bully. Now go on. on this party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Enjoy yourself. Well, you're obviously yeah, not Paul. 10. You don't have a pit boy on you, so what are you bragging about? He's 10. He's got a pit boy. Get it? Who wants oh, to sure, go around all day being called a Andy got her all fixed blue. up again last Sometimes night. Good as new. You really are as dumb as I wasn't you look. worried. You can How's it going, right? You always have good anyway, ideas. Anyway, I'm glad you could make it. Yeah, I nice got one. Nice party. How do you like that Pip-Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Another odd thing is the glow in their eyes. Pretty much everybody looks like they have cataracts in this game <laughs> because the light bounces off their eyes in such a weird way. It's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Don't Stanley. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. The Mackers. A baseball Super hat, right? yay! How are you enjoying baseball? the party, Mrs. Why don't I... 
Put my vault suit back on. Put on this cool baseball hat. Oh, I don't have any weapons yeah. yet. No way. Go ahead and oh, talk really? to Dad. As he gets up and walks away from me. Hello, Officer Gomez. I'm glad you could make it. I'm glad to be here. I think it's important to the get AI movement the in this game. You know, it's part of my job. Plus, well, it's like, I like Jonas? parties. Nope. Object hey, detected. Sure Step thing. over I'm here. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. I'll send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. <laughs> of course not. It's my frickin' party. I'll do what I want to do. Oh, oh, I'm gonna run into this lady. Ooh. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. <laughs> I'm not a girl and I'm not five, so stop calling me dearie. Of course you're not five. <laughs> You're a big ten-year-old man now, aren't you? With Hell your yeah. very own pip boy And yeah. do you know what I did? Just for the occasion, wrote you a poem. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Sometimes there's kind of a limit as to the middle ground. But the nice thing about the silent protagonist and being able to select your own dialogue is you really do have a choice of what you want to say. Something in Fallout 4 or in other games that has bothered me in the past is when you select an option you think is good, but the character talks more than what the dialogue shows on the screen. Uh, for example, one thing I can remember is... Um, the My Player mode in NBA 2K16, where your guy might say, well, I just need to play a better game, and that's the dialogue you pick, and then he goes rambling on for another five sentences after that and makes you look like a jerk. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. And it's like, I didn't want to select that one. <laughs> if it's going to sound like a jerk. At least here with the silent part, what you're selecting is what's being said. I'm not a kid, I'm ten years old. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. If that was like some other games, your character might say, I'm not a kid, I'm ten years old, you piece of crap. Are you ready for your surprise? And you're like, wait a minute, I didn't want to call him a piece of crap. I didn't know that was in the dialogue. Because they didn't show it. What kind of surprise, Dad? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Ooh. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Here? We can't shoot a gun here. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Also, who the heck allows Butch to have a switchblade? That seems a little dangerous, especially when he bullies me. Just shoot him in the ass. <laughs> well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is so great. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. So this is one of those games where <laughs> Your walk is slow as can be, and your run almost feels a little bit too fast. But, it's the way it is. You don't actually aim down sights unless you have a scope, which was kind of difficult to get used to when I first played this game all those years ago. Careful, it's a rad roach. About 10 years ago, according to your BB gun. Just aim Wikipedia. Over 10 years. 
This came out in October 2008, and it is now almost January of 2019. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas. Get oh, wait, a picture it is. of me with the big game hunter. The new year today. Smile. Oh, another flash forward. Different parts. Six years later. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Alright, let's get through this dialogue really quickly. The GOAT is anything just... ridiculous. But I'm sick, really! No, you're not. <laughs> really. When I started studying medicine, one of the first things I learned was how to spot a kid playing sick to get out of taking a test. You'll do fine. It's not so bad. Everyone has to take it when they're 16. I had to, you have to, and so does everyone else. And most everyone makes it through without a scratch. Bye, good Dad. Son. Now get out of here, and good luck. Okay, but I'm going to steal your bobblehead first medicine bobblehead you have found a vault tech limited edition bobblehead the inscription on the base reads the smart man knows a bandage only hides his wounds your medicine skill has been permanently increased by 10 points so much like in the other fallout games when you pick up a bobblehead you get an increase in some sort of statistical area good hey 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 sport it's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day today, right? His name is Jonas. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. Ooh, here's where I we get to bully somebody or get to fight a bully, I guess. God, Butch. Why now, if you take a look, this is where alone? I always laugh at the her, Butch? Go run the way the, the conversations pause the, the game. Daddy's girl gonna cry. You come up here like this. Jeez. Stupid tunnel snakes. Immature assholes if you ask me. Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? <laughs> it's just funny that it totally ignores the fact that all these guys are around here. And freeze frames on her. Butch and his friends bothering you again? A bunch of idiots if you ask me. They think they're so tough with their gang. All they ever do is hang around and cause trouble. They've got it in for me because my father is the overseer. Like, that's my fault. I'll see if I can talk some sense into them. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Nothing, Butch. He's standing right Get there. He can hear you. Me. He knows hey, I'm gonna. So... Right. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> What's None going of your on here? Business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Then, when you get some of these dialogue options, it tells you if you will be able to convince them or not based on a percentage. I do like this a lot better than the Fallout 4 method because in Fallout 4 it just goes based on the color that the dialogue shows up as and I'm fucking colorblind so it doesn't help me at all that it's, you know, a different color. And at the same time, if you change the color of your HUD in that game, it really messes up with your understanding of what the dialogue options mean. Sometimes I select one thinking it's just a normal option because I switched my HUD color to orange and instead it meant that it would be very difficult to get or something. I don't know. And yeah, so then I miss it. Should I try it? Let's try it. If you keep messing with her, the overseer is going to come down on your gang. I imagine I'm a teenager at this point, so I'm going to be a little bit more cracky in the voice. Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. What's Come new? on, tunnel snakes. That worked. This little oh, bitch isn't worth much. our time. Oh, you're I an asshole. You I should punch you anyways. You're the boss. Your tunnel kidding. snakes rule. Didn't you just get Fine. new parts Let's for go. it last week? Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. 
I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Yeah, sure did. But the thing is will, so will you go out with me? With he hey, Amada. Well, I hope it's working again. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do it. Sure, I'm ready. I bet I'll ace it. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. All I can think of when I try to crack my voice is the kid on The Simpsons. Hello, Mr. Simpson! Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? <laughs> I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. But doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? <laughs> yeah, up yours too, buddy. Say nothing but grab a nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head to knock him out. For all you knew, he was planning on blowing up the vault. Say nothing but slip away before the scientist can continue his rant. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. But doctor, wouldn't that cause a per... <laughs> Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic... A patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Okay, so he has an infection. Do we amputate the foot, scream for help, medicate the infected area to the best of your abilities, restrain the patient, and merely observe as the infection spreads? I think we should probably medicate the infected area to the best of our abilities. Should leave the amputation up to the doctor. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? So the little boy stole something. Give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Confiscate the stolen property by force and leave the boy there as punishment. Pick his pocket. Lead the boy to safety and then turn him into the overseer. Hmm. Well, let's go with the law. Because you can't fight the law. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher, catcher, designated hitter, none you wished the vault had a soccer team. Well, I never played baseball, so I'm going to say none. You wish the vault had a soccer team. I mean, I played it, but not, not as a high school sport. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Obey your elder and kill the president. Oh, resident, not president. Kill the resident with the pistol. Offer your most prized possession for the resident's life. Ask Granny for a minigun instead. I'm going to say throw your tea in Granny's face. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Use a bobby pin to pick the lock on the door. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? <laughs> a bullet to the brain, large doses of an anti-mutagen agent. Prayer, maybe God will spare you in exchange for a life of pious devotion. 
Removal of the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Issue number 1. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Steal the comic book at gunpoint. Uh, we'll say trade. Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... <laughs> Let's say, uh, put a firecracker in the toilet. <laughs> Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Gee, I wonder. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. I don't remember the game ever doing this. <laughs> Maybe I've just been sitting for too long, not moving when I was sitting here looking at him. Okay. Walk up to the desk. Get out of your butch, you son of a- Get out of my face. We'll talk to your little friend Here you are, later. Mr. Brach. <laughs> I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almo. Thank God that's over. Come on. Yeah, that was so difficult. Off. It says here you're perfectly suited for a career as a waste management specialist. A specialist, mind you. Not just a dabbler. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, should I change it? Whatever, I just answered randomly. Is that how you got stuck with ha! your job? Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Ooh. Okay, so the things I like to focus on are medicine, of course, repair skills right away, and then I think small guns, since you basically start off with different things like the BB gun, and I think eventually you'll get a pistol, or pretty quickly you can get a pistol. So if I do the repair, then there's a mission I can do right away when I get to Megaton, where I'll be able to disarm that bomb, or arm it if I really wanted to, but I'm going to go as a nice guy. Sorry if that disappoints. just a lot easier to play the game that way, I found. I, I found that being a jerk makes it difficult when people are afraid of you and all that stuff. Sure, you can intimidate them, but I just think getting... Getting the house in Megaton right away is, oh, it's a must. Makes the game so much easier. Once we select three skills to boost here, we can hit done. And then I think we can just leave. Yep, exit I'm the I'm all done, Mr. Brach. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm Then we'll hit another flash forward. Let's see. Anything is possible. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! How weird! I was just dreaming about you. Wink and a point. Don't be a smart mouth! This is serious! <laughs> My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've <gasps> got to get out of here. They killed Jonas. What? Jonas is dead? What the hell is going on? It's your dad. 
He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My god, they killed him. They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop. So they killed Jonas, and I'm next, is that it? Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them, but we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. My dad can't have left. The door is sealed shut. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? No, I had no idea he was planning to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the vault? How? Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Thanks, Amada. I'll only use it as a last resort. I promise. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. Something that's tough to get used to there is the fact that you actually open up these things. Instead of in Fallout 4, if you play that enough and then you jump back to this, it's like, oh yeah, I actually have to open it up. And then you have to hit A for take all and E exits, where it's kind of reverse. If I go up here to apparel... You can see we have some options if I put the utility suit on. We can repair items. The reason I like to repair items is if they stack together. Did I just repair the item I'm wearing? Son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh, I don't know how many times I've done that. I didn't mean to click on that. But you can repair items. That brings up their condition. And at the same time, it eliminates a little bit of weight in your inventory. Under your weapons, you can select the number above the QWERTY keys. And you can actually put these items into... A quick slot so now and here's one that I'll do let's see what's the last one eight eight for a stim pack or does the stim pack have a button already I can't remember I don't think it has a key already let's take a look settings controls action mapping keyboard there is no control just to chow down a stim pack. Oops. But now, if we're out here, we pick up our hands. We can select the bat. We can quick select that. And we can quick select that. Funny thing is, I had a friend of mine that played this game a lot. Starting back in 2008. And that's when I came across this game, was watching him play it. And I don't think he even knew that. It was a long time after where I showed him, Hey, you do know you can put these in a favorited slot sort of thing. Makes it a lot easier. Makes it more like regular games. Okay, then you also have the VAT system. Welcome to the vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. If you are familiar with Fallout 3 or 4, you know what this does. There is a difference between 3 and 4 in that 3 fully pauses everybody and everything so you can select where to hit or who to hit. In 4, you kind of have the issue where people are still moving. And it's, I don't know, it's nice, it's kind of neat little trick, but 
when you jump back and forth between the two games, it can be confusing. And you can get beat the heck up in four because you're used to everybody pausing in three. And, of course, if you are one of those unfortunate few that play 76, you'll know that there essentially is no VAT system. It's just a name bot sort of thing, and that's about all it is there. I don't know because I don't play that game, but here we can select that we want to hit him. In melee, you only have the one option that you want to hit his whole body, and then you just accept, and you watch as your guy beats him up. Yeah! Right in the face. Oh, you're still twitching. You're still twitching. Oh, there you go. What do you want me to do? Kill him again? Let me go ahead and take all of those. Pick up the rad roach meat. Oops. We'll need this later to eat. Although I don't know. Can we cook in this game? I don't remember if we can cook like we can in Fallout 4. It's been so long since I've played this. And we picked up some important apparel, and actually an important weapon to the police baton, but the bat... Ah, uh, the bat does more damage, so we'll stick with that. But we picked up a security helmet, which we will want to put on. And we can put on the armor, it's going to give us more uh, durability there, or damage rating, or whatever that DR stands for, of 9. Whereas here we only have 1. Although our melee weapons and our speech are affected with a plus two on each if we keep wearing the jumpsuit. So for now, since I have the melee weapon, I'm just going to wear the jumpsuit. I don't believe there's anything in these. And if we go into the right one, I think Butch wants to talk to us. You gotta yep. help me! My mom's trapped in there with the <laughs> rat roaches! I told you, I love the full-on turnaround, like, hey, we need to do this dialogue, but you're here and that character's there. So let's do this really awkward pan in a circle all the way back. And sometimes they'll be behind an object or something else. <laughs> Butch asking me for help? Oh, if only you knew what irony meant. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rad roaches. All right, I'll help. But I'm doing this for your mom, not for you. Piece of shit, bully. Sure, I, I don't care why. Just get her out of there. I added those last words. <laughs> I don't remember in this game if there is splash damage on the melee or not. It does seem to me like there is because I think I've missed before. See, I should take just one hit, huh? I have a feeling like I've missed before and accidentally hit her. Even when in vats. I know in Fallout 4 there's like zero splash damage, so whatever character you hit, you hit. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. So basically what I was saying is that if you were swinging at these rad roaches all in a pile. I know in Fallout 4, I should just say 4. I know in 4 that you basically hit whichever one you're aiming at. None of the others are affected. This happens to me a lot with... Uh, Oh, I can't take your desk fan, huh? Happens to me a lot when it comes to... Uh, muskrats. Muskrats. Mole rats. Come on, sit down and have a drink with me. Ah. 
Okay, I'm good. See ya. Let's take a look at the thing he gave me here. So we got this vault suit down here. We can repair these, put them together. Oops. And once again, I dropped that all too often. And I don't think we can repair these because the condition is already too good for us. The tunnel snake jacket will give us extra melee damage compared to what we have here. So I'm going to hit that for now. I think we still got some rad roaches to kill. Let's do it. Can't get into here, can I? Nope. Okay. Boom. So, like, I think if I swing it... Yeah. I'm trying to see if I swing at both of them... What it does. I am playing this on the normal difficulty. I didn't want to... Get my butt kicked playing it today. Grandma Taylor. Well, I'm going to steal your vault suit. Can't go through there. There's nothing really of value back here. Beatrice does tarot card readings. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't look at that board before. I mean, I'm sure I've looked at it at some point in my career. 159 hours in the game, I probably had to look at it at some point. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. It's like we're in a prison camp. It said hard work is happy work. No, I don't want to hit Andy or Officer Gomez. Oh, man, I think I got something on my shoe. Ah, young sir. How very good to see you. I do. You're the one everybody's looking for, right? Well, it's none of my business. Your dad always... Me and Andy were in a tight spot there. Ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. Could be back any moment. I think I turned the tips off, but they still pop up. the big idea just hold still your left stabilizer has been knocked loose empty syringes hmm. any other stim packs or anything I can steal I can't get into here requires a key and I don't know how to get the key it's one thing I never really learned is how to get the key yet. I think I maybe discovered it by accident one time. I think I'd rather just stay broken than submit to any further indignity. But I don't remember. Anyways. Almost got it. Back out here. Do you have any idea? The atrium, which gives us a little loading screen, but it goes pretty quickly these days. Don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. No, you're gonna get shot. Tom, be careful! And I am going to switch to the security armor so Tom, I don't die. No! You're gonna die too. Oh! And I'm gonna steal your stuff. Any 
<laughs> I like how I took his head off. <laughs> I took his head off, but the helmet is still there on his decapitated head, even though I took it from his inventory. That is creepy. Doesn't look like we can repair anything there. Can't repair any of the jumpsuits. I'll switch back to the tunnel snake outfit. Because we do have the ability to... Beat the heck out of these bugs. I'm going to use the police baton this time. Yeah, I'm a big boy killing bugs. Speaking of bugs, yeah. I never saw the movie Starship Troopers until the other night. Holy crap, that movie is terrible. It's just stupid. Oh, my vodka wore off. It's like this big war movie, and all the soldiers are just kind of running around willy-nilly, firing from the hip, and... <laughs> it's like, this doesn't make any sense. Who trained you? We can't get into any of those two doors. This guy's pissed at me. You and your stupid father. He had to go and leave, didn't he? He had to mess things up for everybody. Yeah, it's all his fault. Guard! Oh, shut up. You're gonna get me caught. Actually, I didn't need to do that. I can just go like this and switch to the baseball bat. I'm gonna pick up a guard in here somewhere. Where's he? Oh, there's a bug here first. I thought there was... Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was like, I thought there was supposed to be a guard here. Where the hell is he? We'll hit him three times just to be sure. You like that, you Boom. bastard? Boom. Boom. Oh! One nice addition they made to Fallout 4 is the fact that you can... That you can actually... What was I going to say here? Oh, you can actually select when you want to use a critical. I do like that feature quite a bit. Man, I got a lot of jumpsuits now. Can I repair any of them? No, I did it again, son of a... I wanted that utility suit and I accidentally repaired it. With... Oh, gosh. I am so bad at that. Also, the other cool thing in Fallout 4 versus 3 is that if you put something on your head... Oh, I thought the reading glasses got rid of the... Oh, the helmet. Okay, the helmet removes the reading glasses. Gotcha, because it has the visor on it. I was thinking something totally different there. Okay, I see what's going on. I'm catching on to this 10-year-old game. I don't know anything. Be reasonable, right. Mata. Let's see if I can do a quick save just in case this, I fuck I something up here. Let me save it. Tell us where to find right. your friend so we can talk to him. Look out! Hold it right there! Damn. Get out of here, Mac. Oh. I'll steal all your stuff and then I'm gonna come back here and talk to the overseer. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. If you ever lay a hand on Amada again, I'll make you regret it. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that Amata will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then. If you really care about Amata, you will see how 
dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. I've never surrendered before. I never actually tried that option. I don't want to try it now, but I'm just saying I've never tried that option. My father's no traitor, but you're a murderer and a thug. Let's let history be the judge of that. If you had paid attention to Mr. Broch, you'd understand that history is invariably written by the victor. And I intend to be the victor. You won't survive the night. Gods, help me! I have nothing else to say to you. Okay, so he He's won't here. give me the key. I basically have to find it or something. There's pre-war money. Guards. More pre-war money. More batons and security helmets and ammunition. Guards, help! Nothing in the. This is a huge cell. <laughs> For the fact that you got one God, bed over there and a toilet and a sink all right in the corner. Alright, let's see here. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Can't repair any of that. Can't repair any of that. Can't repair any of those things. I guess I'm a ways away from my weight limit up here. Since I'm playing on easy, it's a pretty... I'm playing it on normal, I think. So it's a pretty relaxed weight limit. Anything of value in here? Well, it doesn't look like it. Pre-war money there. Jonas and a note from Dad. 44 rounds of pre-war money. Let's take a look. Now, this is like what I was saying before. If you go under Data, that's where your notes are in this game. In Fallout 4, for some reason, they're under Miscellaneous. And all your magazines, notes, holotapes, recordings, whatever are in miscellaneous. I don't understand that. To me, they should have been in data, and they should have stayed right here. Basically, she's talking about being born in the vault, dying in the vault. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. So I was just thinking the worst part about accidentally fixing those two utility suits is that they boost my repair skills, which limits what I can do once I get to Megaton. But we'll see what happens. Liam Neeson's my dad. Hey, hey, Liam Neeson is my dad. 
I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Okay, I guess I'll go. I got his office key. What's he got in his locker? Ooh, some more weaponry. Nothing there. Alright, gotta use his computer to access this. So we log in to the terminal. Wait for it. work on my sneaking. I do wish the Fallout series, instead of just going into the special stuff and building yourself up that way, I do kind of wish that at least some of your stats were upgraded based on what you do. Like how some other games have it where, oh, the more you run, the more your agility increases or something like that. The more you hit things, the more your strength increases, etc. So that way, if you do a lot of sneaking versus a lot of running and bashing, it's going to build you up differently. Better go ahead and make sure I got a... Make sure I have a set of security armor on. So when I go to hit this, some guys are gonna come after me. You're gonna witness a murder. Do I talk to her first or did they come out first? I can't remember. Well, let me talk to her. You did it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. I couldn't have done it without your help. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, for you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Your father should be hanged, by the way. War crimes and such. Man, I'm gonna shoot you both in the head. Beat you with my baseball Need bat. Need some help with this one. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oops. Come on. Uh. Go down. Uh. All right. We'll just do it this way then. If you're gonna be difficult, uh. kaboom. Uh. Uppercut right here. Bam. That's a nice look at the control panel. We'll take your armor, and I'll take your armor. And then I'll head out of the vault. What, are you gonna fight me? You've got to get out of here. Someone's sure to come see what's going on. Why take did you care. put your... Why did you put your hands up like you were gonna fight me? I don't think I threatened her, did I? Before we leave the vault in both 3 and 4, you can change all sorts of different things about you. So if you didn't like 
your name, your race and all that, your special abilities or your tag skills. If you want to change any of that stuff, you can do it now, which kind of makes the whole intro to the game, especially in this one with the whole goat thing, makes it seem just pointless. It's like, if I could change it here, why did you make me go through that in the beginning? Get a nice little loading screen real quick and then you get blinded and your eardrums ripped apart. After that, you can jump up here and take a look. Scenic Overlook and we leveled up. Unlike in Fallout 4, here in 3, when you level up it automatically takes you to the level up screen. So once again, this is where we can assign some skill points. You see we have 17 down here. I think I need 35 to be able to do what I want to do in Megaton. So I'll put two there. Put one into small guns because I like it on the fives. <laughs> put another couple into medicine so I can make sure I'm gonna stay alive fairly well. Put a couple into science so I can hack those computer terminals. Do I want speech or do I want lockpick? Probably do each. There we go. I kind of tend to like to level up things together rather than just leveling up small guns with all 17 of those points and then the next time taking however many points I get and leveling up one skill I like to kind of evenly place my skills my points if we continue we have several options here for different perks that we can select we can do dear, or Daddy's Boy. Oops, I better move my mouse so I can actually scroll them. You could do Daddy's Boy, where you get additional points for science and medicine. Gun Nut, you're obsessed with using, maintaining a wide variety of conventional arms. This is usually for small arms, I think. Intense Training, where you can select another special attribute. Lady Killer, where you get better chances to kill women. Little Leaguer, Swift Learner, and Thief. I tend to go for Swift Learner in the early game. With each rank in the Swift Learner perk, you gain an additional 10% of total experience points whenever experience points are earned. This is one of those that really benefits you in the beginning. It doesn't so much if you pick it later on. You can see we got a nice little town down here we can go visit as we move on our way to Megaton. So we'll go do that real quick. We'll just take a nice little jog down this hill. See if I can pick up anything. No, nope, those are just tin cans. I don't need those. Probably the best thing about the Fallout series, Skyrim, etc. with Bethesda has to be the auto move button. I know other games have come across this or added this kind of thing as well, but oh my gosh. <laughs> when I first started playing this game I'm like, what? You can you can select to have it just move on its own. I don't have to hit W the whole time. Go ahead and try to loot these. He's empty? President yeah. They're all empty. As a lot of people know, this engine that they use to create the Fallout series is old as the hills. The question has been raised, I know. Visually, it looks a little bit better 
in 4. And I guess even in 76, it doesn't look too terrible, except for the glitchy stuff. But I mean, the rocks and stuff, they don't look that bad. Let's go ahead and lock pick here. It'll tell us torque is applied the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before bobby pin breaks. Only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open. You can also try to lock by force, but I think that messes it up. And that one was super easy, so you saw I, so you saw I barely moved it, and it went just fine. Uh, what I was saying is that in Fallout 4, and I thought from what I've seen gameplay footage of 76, the visuals aren't that bad. I mean, there are issues with glitchiness. I know a lot of people compare... Well, if I'm over encumbered, let me put some of that stuff away. I know people will compare... Baseball, baseball glove, camera, the toy car. I should do it, shouldn't it? Nope, my weight is still up there. We'll take all that back. And instead, I will go to aid and drink some vodka, which increases my strength. So now I'm not over encumbered anymore. Unless I pick something else up. <laughs> As I was saying, though, from what I've seen in, in the game footage of 76, yeah, the game would look better with the Unreal Engine, like a lot of people are saying, but I don't think it actually looks that bad. It just it looks old, because the game engine is old. And it does have some glitch, some, some. It has a lot of glitch issues about it. Now, the thing I have an issue with here in 3 is that for me especially, everything looks quite flat. So, when you have items on the ground that you're looking for to try to pick up, like if you wanted to collect all the tin cans in the world. Sometimes it's really hard to tell if there's a pile of rubble like this, where the can is and where, you know, what's a can and what's a piece of the rubble. It's, I don't know. I'll have to show you in some different environments, but I think some people get what can I'm you saying. Help me? I need water, purified water, please. It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. If I lived in Megaton, I'd be living in a hole. I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. All right, I don't have any. But please, if you find some, please. Mickey here is one of these opportunities around the world where you can boost your karma. If you did something you don't like and you're kind of on the negative side of the karma tree. Karma tree. What am I talking about? But if you're in the negative and you want to boost yourself to a positive Welcome character, to you can give him some Megaton. purified water and it'll boost you. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Okay, Deputy Weld. As we go into here, we're going to be greeted by... Oh, I forgot his name. It's been so long. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town yeah, sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. It's probably because I'm so handsome. Nice town you got here, sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right. 
Message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. I could use some direction around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Where's the closest clinic? Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. Is there a weapons dealer around here? You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Is there a bar in town? Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. I need some equipment. Where's the nearest general store? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> is it next to the crater? Ha ha ha. Where can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What's on your mind? Know anything about the area outside Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. Tell me about your town. What do you want to know? Oh, it just basically goes through and asks, Okay, why is the town called Megaton? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off. Yet. Don't you think someone should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. <laughs> I only have a 15% chance of convincing him of giving me more caps. I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you could all die. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up, all right? Now that I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Let's see. I have to go now. Don't fool around with that bomb unless you know what you're doing. If we go over here to the right, right away, we can talk to... Um, I forget his name now. <laughs> We could talk to this guy about repairing the water supply. You need something, youngster? Walter. That's yeah. his name. What is it? What can I do to help around here? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. How many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Can't you fix the pipes? 
I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night. And I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. I'll keep it in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. What can you tell me about Megaton? What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. How's that for a piece of information? <laughs> I gotta say, I just love it when video games add a little bit of swearing in there. Just makes the character seem so much more lifelike. What do you do around here? I take care of the water purification plant. This old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. And what's the word around town? Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. I have to go now. Well, back to work. 35 years. What's going to happen when you die? And they don't have anybody here to fix that. I don't. That's going to be trouble. I'll tell you that much. If we wanted to, we could go up to the saloon. There's a guy there that gives us the option to blow up the bomb. Oh, good. We only needed to be at a 30 or higher. So we fixed that leak. There's another one. Oh, let's see here. There's another one up there. We kind of have to jump to that one. And then there's one up the stairs here. But as I was saying, there's a guy up in Moriarty's that gives us the option to blow up the bomb and destroy Megaton, and then we go somewhere else. Come forth. To gather and if you talk to him, you have the chance Adam. to turn him into Lucas Sims. However, every time I do that, no matter how fast I am on the vats, Lucas dies. Come forth <laughs> and drink it's like, oh, okay. So, usually what I do then, if I'm playing a nicer character that's not going to blow the, the place up, I come down here and, uh-oh. I have to have explosives at 25 or higher. Okay. So I might have to do a few things Let before I can boost my explosives and get rid of that. Disarm the bomb, I mean, so that we can eventually get ourselves a house. I can fix that one there. And then this next one. Like I said... Oh, shoot. My vodka wore off. No. I walk so slowly now. Stupid over encumbrance. The neat thing about this game, I thought, was the fact that you could be third person or first person. Of course, I like the game in the first person as much as possible, but it is nice that you get that option. Since I'm over encumbered, I'm walking very, very slowly. Once I make it over here to these bathrooms, I like to stash a bunch of stuff until I'm able to get my own house or get into a spot where I can sell everything. I'll just stash it here. Public restroom. See, there's kind of an odd glow on things in this game that make it difficult to look at certain things. Now I'm no longer over encumbered. We can move around a little more freely and possibly steal any nice items that they may have, although I don't see much of anything available. Hi there, mister. You need something? Nope, I don't, I guess. Because you're not going to talk to me right away. Um, one more leak. One more leak. Where was it? Oh, yeah. 
So if we jump down here... Boom! Go ahead and activate that leak for him. Fix it there. Drop down to the ground and then go back up into his house and turn the mission in. The pipes are all fixed, bitch. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Sounds good to me. I'll bring you the parts I find. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. If you really want to stay high on your good karma, yeah. you can come what up here and you can say, interested in buying some scrap metal? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Just take all the scrap metal I have. If you click that one, actually, no, wait. If you click this one, just take all the scrap metal I have, no charge. I just want to help. Every now and then, instead of getting 10 caps per piece of scrap, what you'll find is that you'll get... Are you serious? Why, I'll be. Thank you, stranger. I can't tell you what this means to Megaton. You'll get a boost to the karma, which you saw in the corner. Well, back to work. And you will also get somebody stopping you from time to time, giving you stuff, which is nice. It takes quite a bit of time to get set up in this game initially. I think if I look over at my timer, I'm already at an hour and 40 minutes for this video. Which, just for the heck of it, I'm going to throw it up there as a whole long let's play for everybody to take a look at. If I do end up playing this game again, I'll jump right into the Crater Side Supply. And I'll talk to Moira. And I'll go up to Moriarty's and I'll talk to him. In fact, I'll talk to Moira before I end this video. But I just wanted to say that when I initially played this game or initially saw this game... I fell in love with all the different characters in Megaton, especially Moira. We'll talk to her. She's just funny as can be. And depending on how you play this game, if I take a look at the map, if you, depending on how you play this game, if you do all the missions for her, which are pretty much right around in this area here, some of them go, oops, some of them go up a little bit higher, but you'll pretty much spend a lot of time talking to her. I think you spend the most time talking to her than you do pretty much any other character. And while I'm on the map page, if you play this game through just the story missions, I've noticed that the, about the furthest out this way you go is somewhere over in here. I can't remember exactly where the town is right offhand. You don't go all the way to the edge of the map. If you do some of Moyer's missions, you maybe get up to here, into here. But I have never really discovered this area of the map, or this area over here. I have only ever, I'm zoomed out as far as I can go, but I've only ever really been, like, around over in this corner. It's kind of weird. If you really, really, really stick to just the story mission, I think you can pretty much stay in the lower half of the map. Which is weird that they have this whole huge map and then that's where you go. I'd have to look elsewhere to see if somebody else has done this to show it. But I'm pretty sure that's the deal. That's how it goes. Let's talk to Moira real quick while we still can before I end this video. It's been a long one, but... Hopefully it's been enjoyable seeing the beginning of a game and then I can add it into Miscellaneous hey, Monday. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. 
but what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. It was cramped, dark, and the food sucked. Good riddance. That's terrible! But it'll be great for a foreword. So in that sense, it's great! I think you're going to like it out here. And here's the armored suit, just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. What's this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Okay, I guess I'll help with this survival guide. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? What's this about radiation? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay, I'll get irradiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Have you thought about disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Can I ask you about your work and how my research fits into it? Sure thing. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Why can't you do this research yourself? <laughs> oh, I haven't got nearly the experience in the wastes that you do. If I tried half of these things, <laughs> I'd get my head blown off. <laughs> at least you look like you can really handle yourself out there. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravans. I literally walked from the vault over to here, and you call that experience? <laughs> it's really good of you to try to help people like this. I know, right? I figured instead of just helping out the caravans with odd junk, why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? And between my mind and your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants will. Again, I walked from the vault over to here. <laughs> well, I'm proud to be a part of it. You can count on me. That's the spirit, trusty research assistant. Okay, any other options I want to talk about? What's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. See ya. Okay, so, the quickest way to get some radiation to do this mission for her is to go all the way down here, sit in this puddle, and drink the water. 
shall know an end to pain. And drink the water. And shall know Adam in his glory. And drink the water. <laughs> I urge you well here and there, we got our 600 rads. So we can go up and talk to Moira. Hopefully her store doesn't close before we get there. Because that'd be a real bummer, you know? And... Cure me. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about as irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell. You're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Just do your examination and fix me up, please. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that. At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. But I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um... Mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> so, Moira's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now, when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. I don't know if I've ever really had this as an issue, <laughs> but... Hey, it's a little bit of a perk. We'll go ahead and tell her that we can continue our research on the first chapter, but I won't go do it just I've yet. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll check the Super Duper Mart. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Try not to die. Well, you almost killed me with radiation poisoning. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for me on this Top 10 Tuesday. As I stated before, this video series is basically just an attempt to allow you, the viewer, to understand some of my favorite games and where I come from as a gamer. Between Top 10 Tuesday and Throwback Thursday, you should get a pretty good feel for types of games that I enjoy. If you check out my YouTube channel page, you can see in the banner or in the about page, there is a link to a Google document that I put out all of my own games, although I do have to update that for some of my bought previously over this winter season. At any rate, Fallout 3 is one of my favorites, so if you do enjoy the game and you want to see a new playthrough through it, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I might throw it in on a miscellaneous Monday if I ever feel like it, or else maybe if I get enough comments, enough people want to see it, I can make it its own series, but we'll see about that. At any rate, I hope you have a good new year, or had a good new year, since this will be coming out on the 1st of January. And yeah, I guess I'll see you next time.